Hey everyone, it's Lisa, and today I'm going to tell you about a product that I've been using for tanning. And I usually, I'm not a real big self tanner. I've never really tried, I've never tried all the ones that I hear people talk about, all the ones that Sephora sells. I can't think of the ones now. Um, but anyway, I usually just, I remember last year I did the um, So Bronze. Um, a subscriber had sent some to me, I loved it. Um, I ended up getting some more. I did a review. I had problems with the can clogging up. I don't know if you remember that, but that's the last one I had used. Well, this year, I'm sure you've noticed my legs are so white, you know, and that really, it doesn't bother me that bad. Not as bad as it did when I was younger, but, you know, everybody looks better with a little bit of color. So, um, this company contacted me and wanted to know if I wanted to try their product. I already was thinking of trying a tanner, and I'd heard of it before, so I said yes, I would love to. And it is the Sun Sun Laboratory Self Tanning Lotion. This is the Ultra Dark Instant Tint for all skin types, and this is dark. And I think you have just two to pick from, and I chose the dark. Now, it came in a set like this, and this is the Exfoliant Body Gel Purifying Skin Softener, Paraben Free. And I believe this is, it's paraben free, it's a real natural. I will leave their um, link down below so you can get all the details because I don't want to say anything wrong about all that kind of stuff. I know people get really into that. But um, it is by far probably the best one I've ever used. Now I've only been using it this week, but I have used it three times. And I, I will tell you the negatives and the positives and there are more positives but to me with every self tanner are going to come some negatives now the first night I used it I did just like I always do I took a shower and oh let me the get some first right. night I used it I do I did like I always do I just went ahead and took a shower um, they also sent me this kit um, it is the body juniper oh it is dripping because it was in my shower um, it is the cleansing gel if you can see, I've used right much of it. And I just use that on a one of those big loofah, you know those things, those big ball things. This is the exfoliant body gel. And I've also used that. This is not a this is not like a sugar scrub or you know, it just it's real similar to the um oh goodness, the other one I told you about, the um uh, it's real similar to like the Olay and stuff like that. It does have the exfoliating beads in it, but they're not real abrasive or anything. It's a real good cleanser. So I've used that, and it's dripping too. And then this. I love this. This smells so good. It's um, Juniper Berry Hand and Body Lotion. And I've been using this just all over my body the next morning after everything's had time to kind of sink in because I didn't want to put this on before or right after my tanner so I've been using it the next morning and I love it so that's been a nice little set too and I believe they um, do sell that separate and I do recommend it it's it's awesome um, so the first time I did it got out of the shower and just pumped this right in my hands and I will even let you see how dark it is it's very dark okay notice that it does not have any um, there's like, it's really dark, and it's, when you put it on, it's very thin, and there's not any orange in it. It's very, um, when you put it on, you almost think, gosh, it almost looks like it has a gray tint to it. And at first, I thought, oh, no, because I, I hate for someone to send me a product, and I don't like it, and I have to tell them. And that does happen, because believe me, if I did not like this, you would just never know about it. Um, so a lot of times I'll review a product and I don't like it and I have to tell them that I don't like it and you know I'm not going to do a video and I was thinking oh no I'm not going to like this so I put it on well the next thing I noticed is it was staining my hands so fast I could not scrub it off I had to use this exfoliant to scrub it off of my hands so let me go wash this real quick you can see it came off so the first night was not, I was thinking, oh, I just don't know if I'm going to like this, you know. But I went ahead and finished. I did all over. Did I do not, it says it's good for your face. It's for face and body. Um, for all skin types. 
and a red on here you can apply it um, yeah apply evenly over face and body color is instant and will instant and will um, intensify for in three hours oh here's my UPS man oh, it's a good box to get <laughs> okay so um, let's see where was I um, Oh, da, 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 da. Okay, so went ahead and did the whole thing. Now this is, I do not know where my mother-in-law got this. I got this one year for Christmas, but this is the neatest thing when it comes to tanning. I did all over, and I put this little bath wrap on. And it's one, it's neat. It's got, um, you put it around you, and then it just, you know, Velcros over like that. And it's just, a, you know, like a bath wrap, but I like that it has the straps. And I just wore this, you know, around the house for probably, I'd say, an hour and a half or maybe two hours until it was time to go to bed. Then I took it off and I just put on my nightgown and went to bed. Okay, the next morning I woke up and I just absolutely love, you can see it is not orange at all. It's the most authentic looking tan I think I've ever had. Um, and this is after using it three times this week. Um... The biggest positive, I would have to say, if I had to say the biggest positive, it would be to me, even more than the color, is that this does not smell at all. It does not even smell, it doesn't smell good or bad. I just don't smell it. It's like after I use it, I never think about it again. I don't smell it on my skin in the night. I don't smell it the next day. Um, it's not one of those sickening sweet smells. It's just, it does not smell at all. Um... I'm not even sure if it smells when you, it does, it smells a little bit, but just almost like um, Jurgen's lotion or something like that, just a real mild lotion. It's not perfumey at all. That is a big plus to me because anything that's too strong like that just gets on my nerves, especially if I can smell it on my sheets or on my clothes or in the night. Um, and this is another plus. I have used this three times now over the tanner and you can see it is not stained up even on my shoulders you might see just a little bit but not like the typical I mean I have not washed this since I've used it this week I just hang it back up on the little hook on my door um, you know this was going right across my chest that I had put the tanner so it has not been staining my clothes it has not been staining my sheets has not even been staining this, which I put on, you know, directly after, because I've noticed if I put my nightgown on before with the other products, it would stain my nightgowns. And I mean, it does wash out, but who wants that, you know, on your nightgown? So that is another big plus. So um, so far, the big negative was the application. I did not like the way it stained my hands before I could even get finished. So what I did is just. I think Tuesday, I went to Sally's and I just bought some of these rubber gloves. I think these were $3.50 um, $3 or something. And there are, um, I believe, 12 pairs. Yeah, 12, 12 pairs or 12 gloves. Maybe it's just six pair. But anyway, I've been using these and they work fine. What I've been doing is, um, First, I thought, well, I'm just going to put it on one hand, and I'll just use one glove each time. But I noticed I wanted both hands so that I could, I squirt it in my hand, and I rub it in real good, and then I go over my legs, all down my feet. I, it hasn't been um, really collecting on my elbows or my, it's just very easy. It's a very easy one to use. Okay, then the second time I took a shower and was going to use it, what I did is I used my friend Olivia in Canada had sent this to me last year for just this reason and it, it's like an exfoliating cloth it's not soft at all and I get it wet and I've been putting the scrub that they sent me um, in this and just scrubbing all over and kind of exfoliating those spots that tend to build up you know like around your collarbone um, you know, around your knees, elbows, I've just been scrubbing all over, then get out of the shower, then applying that, and then in the morning, after everything is, you know, in, I've been using this lotion, which is, it smells so good, and I'll show you, it's not real, it's not a, um, one of those crazy thick ones or anything that you can't put on your clothes afterwards, it's just real, 
um, real smooth. And it smells really good. It smells um, fruity, kind of. doesn't smell perfumey. It's real light. So, but you can see, I mean, I've been doing my hands, my arms, my chest, and um, I'm not wearing a, a dress today. I'm wearing jeans, but maybe tomorrow I'll wear a dress or a skirt so you can see my legs and my feet. Um, i got a new pair of shoes to show you, and my feet just look so much better in sandals, you know, with a little bit of a tan. So I really do like this product. It has all the same, you know, well, some of the same downfalls that all self-tanners do. It's going to wear off. You have to exfoliate. You have to reapply. You have to let it dry. But it, it's not orange. It works well, and it does not smell bad. It doesn't stink. So I'm going to put all the information down below their link. I've seen it at Ulta. I've seen it. I've seen it everywhere. I've seen it at Marshalls. I've seen you know this product a lot, and I've actually I believe um, I've seen reviews. That's that's one thing that I do when a company writes me for a review. One, I have to be I have to be interested in that product. Like if they send me a um, like I've had several companies write me about skincare. Well, I'm happy with my Abaji skincare, so I'm not going to have them send me skincare that I'm not going to use. I'm not going to do it just to review it. So I decline that usually. I've had, I've had people send me things and I didn't like the way they looked when they got to me and I have paid to send it back. Um, I do not accept things unless I am genuinely interested in the product and number two, if I think it's a brand that I'm going to like. Something that I probably would have bought anyway something that I'm already interested in I don't I've gotten where I don't want to try just um, new things because I don't want to just you know flood you with reviews you know I want to try things that that we're you know genuinely interested in and this was one of those things so I was pretty excited when they wrote me and I'm even more excited that I like it so um, there's my review on this and I think you'll like it I do think you'll need to do all the other things that you do with self tanners and I love the shower products and I hope that was helpful. Um, I'm not going to do an outfit of the day because I just did one on my Abaji skincare. I just have on jeans and a t-shirt. So I hope you guys have a great day and I will see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.